In this video, I'm going to be sharing my week seven YouTube analytics as I document my journey towards YouTube monetization. So am I monetized? Have I reached the threshold for monetization? Let's jump onto the computer and I'll let you know. So if you don't know the numbers that I'm tracking, I would suggest you watch this video first. That's my last week's analytics. And I go through what I'm tracking and why I'm tracking them. So today I'm literally just gonna go through the numbers. So it's gonna be a nice short video. It's just basically letting you know whether they've gone up or down and whether I've got a happy face or a sad face this week. So I'm in my Excel spreadsheet here. Um, this is week seven, so I've been tracking my numbers for six weeks. Week one was my snapshot. So just to clarify, although I'm on week seven, it's only actually six weeks worth of tracking. So I'm very happy to say that, you know, everything is pretty much up this week. In fact, it's been a fabulous week and I'm going to talk a couple of about a couple of reasons why that might be the case. In my spreadsheet, which I do in Excel, and the green cells are numbers that have gone up so my percentage has gone up this week and the orange are where my percentages have gone down so you can see over the last few weeks it's been a bit up and down all over the place but this week I've got a lot of green which is absolutely brilliant and some of my numbers are really positive so the little purple flag is a comment that I've put in just to show the percentage difference from last week to this week. So if I look at my views this week, uh, they're up um, from 3,300 to 36.53, which is a 10.7% increase. That's brilliant. I'm really happy with that. I have been doing um, a, a video a day. So that might explain that, but also I've had one video that has done a bit better than my normal videos do, and I'll show you that in a moment or two. My watch time has gone up significantly from 87.4 hours last week to 281 hours this week. That's a 221.5% increase, so that's on the up, really happy with that. My average view duration as well has gone up. Um, that means people are watching them for a bit longer uh, that's gone up by 19%. My click-through rate as well has gone up because that had gone right down. That was telling me that people weren't choosing to watch my videos when they were shown. So the thumbnails perhaps weren't as um, inviting as they could be. So maybe I've done something this week that has helped, but that's gone from 2.8% click-through rate up to 66 which is a 135.7% increase. Very happy with that. Uh, my total subscribers has gone up as well. And again, I think there's a good reason for that, which I'll explain in a moment. I'm really wanting to reach that magical 1,000 subscribers because once you reach that threshold, subscribers become less important. Um, that 1,000 subscribers is one of the qualifying criteria for monetization. Um, and I'm not quite there yet. So in answer to the thumbnail, am I monetized? No, I'm not. Um, but I've gone up from 876 subscribers to 973, which is an 11% increase. And in real terms, that's 96 new subscribers this week. Thank you so much. I'm very happy with that. My videos are being suggested more often than last week as well. That had dropped down to 28 percent last week it's now up to 6.4 which is a 128.6 percent increase but my brows which is what I really really want I want my videos to show up in brows and I've seen a massive increase this week the best percentage I've had so far so that's gone from 11 percent up to 50.9 which is a 362.7 percent increase in how often I show up on the homepage, which is fabulous. Uh, YouTube search has gone down from 3.8 to 2%. That is a 47.3% decrease. And I'm really not worried about that. I don't tend to optimize for search. I do put a few keywords or I try to do some keywords in there, but I'm not necessarily creating titles and thumbnails that people would search for. I want them to show up in Braille. So I'm quite happy with that. 
and on the shorts feed um, I haven't done anywhere near as many shorts this week shorts aren't really that important to me um, so that's gone from 73.1% um, percent down to oops down to 27.3 which is a 62.7% reduction I don't really worry about that However, this one is brilliant. This is my impressions. This is how many times my videos were actually shown by YouTube to potential viewers. And that's gone from 19,500 up to 54,400. Um, and that is a 178.8% increase. That seems, oh no, that will be about right. Um, so massive, massive increase there, which I'm very happy about. Uh, public watch hours. This is one that I wasn't tracking all along, but I started tracking last week. The reason I didn't track it is because they're a little bit out of date. They're normally three or four days uh, behind the drag curve. So uh, when I checked today, it was up until the 14th of September. I'm recording this on the 19th. But my public watch hours have gone up. I haven't done the percentage for that. Um, let me do that quickly now. And I'll actually show you how I do it. So I just use a, I don't, I don't do the maths. I get Google to do it for me. So I just uh, choose, uh, I, I put in Google percentage difference calculator. That is the um, Google search that I do. And there's one particular that I really like. It's called percentagecalculator.co.uk. And the reason I like it is it is very simple, very straightforward. I will put a link to it below because it's really useful. So all I do is initial, in initial value, can I say that? In initial value A, I put the top figure. So in this case, it is 1550. And in the second box, I put the next figure, which is 16.43. And it just flashes at me. So that is a 6% change. So on my spreadsheet, I just come to this cell and I right click my mouse, click new comment. And then I can just put in six in there. And so I can just hover over it and you can see 6%. In terms of the number of bits of content I've created this week, it's 10 in total. So I did do four shorts, about half as many as I did last week, but I have done a video a day. I'm doing a challenge for myself at the moment called a day at a time challenge. Lots of people are doing 30 day challenges and that felt too pressured for me. So I'm literally going day by day to see how many days in a row I can continue to make a video without losing um hopefully losing the quality when I say quality the quality of the message not necessarily the quality of the editing etc and also how often I can still keep enjoying doing it so no pressure on myself just it's a bit of fun really it's a bit of an experiment so uh so far this week I started on Monday uh but I'd already created a video on Sunday so I've done one every day this week this video is counting as my day four so I did Sunday, it's now Thursday, after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A couple of shorts, well, four shorts. Um, and I did a live stream on Saturday, which was good fun. I'll link that below if you fancy a watch, it's very good fun. And I'm also live streaming tonight, but not on my channel. So that isn't going to count. So 10 pieces in total. So on the whole, I'm quite happy with the way things are going. And I think there's been two reasons for why my channel has done quite well this week. The first one is that the brilliant Alexa Saranoia has started a membership and she invited a number of people to join um, as sort of founder members. And I think she's been a little bit surprised by how many. I think she's up to about 500 members in her membership at the moment. And just joining that membership and introducing myself and getting to know some of the other creators in there, I think has helped with my subscriber count and my watch hours uh, as people have sort of come across and, and checked me out and subscribed and we've connected, etc. So that's had a big impact. And the second thing that I think has made a difference 
I just go to my YouTube studio, not sure what my headband's doing there, and look at my content. Most of the time, I don't get particularly high views on any videos. I'm lucky if I get over 100 on most of my videos. Uh, it's a slow burn. Uh, but this one that I did on the 15th of September, so when was that? I think that might have been, was that Sunday? I'm losing track of days. Um, I did a video about things I've quit after turning 50 and it seems to have popped a little bit for me. So I've got 1,502 views at the moment and I think that has had a, a, a major impact on my stats. Um, it's very unusual for me to get more views than my subscriber count. So this, this is good. And if I click into the video and look at the analytics, we can see that, yeah, it's had 1,529 views, 174.9 watch hours, and it's also brought me in 56 new subscribers. Um, the traffic source, 91.4% of views came from YouTube recommendations, which is brilliant. 84.6% uh, on the homepage and 6.8% from uh, up next. Um, if I look down, so my average view duration is 6.53. Um, but if I look at my average view duration or retention graph rather, it's nice to know that 59% of viewers are still watching at around the 30% mark. That's quite high for me. So I'm not entirely sure why, because it wasn't a particularly great hook at the beginning of that video. Don't know why it's um, sort of retaining people quite well. Um, I have got that sort of drop and hockey stick, but I'm quite happy with that graph. So I think that's uh, another reason why my stats have done well. Um, it does seem to be continuing to grow. So 1,132 views in the last 48 hours. In the last 60 minutes, it's had 10 views. So 10 views an hour. That's that's pretty good for me. I'm quite happy with that. So things are looking up. Anyway, I didn't want this video to be as long as it is. So I'm going to call it a day there. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about my stats or if you've got any questions about what I might be learning along the way. All right, take care. Talk to you soon.